Okay, we are here at Oakmont, hole number one. I've set us up with a shot off to the right here. We're in the rough, um, in the deeper rough. You can see over here we're only getting 79% lie. Um, so let's talk about what we need to do to execute this shot. First thing we need to do is figure out what kind of shot would we take under normal conditions. If we were hitting from the fairway, how would we get this to the pin? You can see we're 196 yards from the pin right now. Um, the system has set us up with a 7-iron. Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump that up to a 5-iron just so we can get the aiming circle kind of um, closer to the pin here. I would normally, the way my clubs are tuned, I would normally put the pin about the top of the aiming circle just to account for the roll after the shot. So I'm going to start there at 186 um, to the pin. Now the next thing we need to look at is we're shooting downhill 36 feet. So uh, the way I would account for that is to immediately take 10 yards off the shot to account for the downhill. So we'll go down to 176. You can also see that we have a slight tailwind. It's barely a tailwind. It's mostly crosswind. Um, and it's only 4 miles per hour. But I do want to put in a little insurance for that. Um, you can see it's just it's ever so slightly a tailwind. So I'm just going to take off one more yard uh, from our shot here. Bring it down to 175. Um, so now that we have our distance right, we need to calculate uh, how the lie is going to affect our shot. We need to figure out how far do we need to hit this ball in order to get 175 yards out of the shot. So according to our formula, we just need to take our total distance, which is 175 yards, and we need to apply the 75% lie to that. So I'm going to get my trusty calculator here and type in 175 divided by 0.79. Alright, that gave me 221.5. So I'm going to go ahead and round that up to 222 just to be on the safe side. If we bring our aiming circle up to 222, that has us hitting, let's see here, that has us hitting our 3 iron at an 80%. So I'm going to go ahead and loft in 20 clicks of loft in order to take 20% off my shot, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit a 100% full power 3-iron shot with the added loft to bring it down to 80%, uh, and then we'll see how we, uh, how we do there. I'm going to adjust a little bit for the side wind, probably not much because it's not too much of a wind. And then I'm going to go ahead and put 20 clicks of loft. I'm doing that by holding the B button and hitting left on the, uh, the D-pad. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take a full power shot and see what happens. Looks like it's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now you could see that we, we rolled up there and had pretty good distance. Um, if you were playing standard swing and had spin available, you could probably nudge it even a little closer than that, but you can see that uh, the formula works. Um, you can use it in the sand or the deep rough um, for pretty much any percentage. I've used it all the way down to in the 50s and 60%, and it actually works pretty well. Um, and so hopefully that will help you out in your game.